Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about a mod for <clears throat> Total War Rome Remastered, Alexander. So this is Alexander Total Overhaul. This one is uh, pretty much the biggest uh, mod for Rome Remastered Alexander. And uh, it includes three campaigns. So you've got the Alexander campaign, which starts in uh, 334. And it's, um, if I'm not uh, mistaken, this is on the full, the regular Alexander campaign map that you have in vanilla. And then you have the huge map here. So this is Alexander Hellenic Universalis. And uh, this uh, puts the campaign on a huge map, which actually is a pretty good map. I think th this map might work for something like, I don't know, some sort of Broken Crescent type mod. But... Uh, I will be showcasing all of these campaigns in just a second. And uh, and then you have the Wars of Philip, uh, the second campaign, which starts in 356. So uh, this is a more contained map. It just has um, southern Italy, uh, Greece, uh, parts of the Balkans, and then Asia Minor and parts of Syria. So uh, I will be showing off all of these. So let's get into the first Alexander 334 BC campaign and I'll showcase some of the changes. All right, so first thing you might notice is that um, if I'm not mistaken, this map looks a little bit different from vanilla. It looks like it's been regenerated with IWTE. So that's why um, while most things still look bad, they look perhaps... 10% less bad, <laughs> or at least skewed, right? Uh, so the skewed map actually doesn't bother me. It, um, You know, it, you just have to think of it as being on some sort of ancient map, right? <laughs> but it, it, that's why the skewing doesn't bother me too much. But uh, yeah, it's a regenerated map, I think. You can tell from the sea textures as well. And um, so uh, as you can see, this campaign, or this mod, unlocks all the factions to play in the campaign. So you can play as the Dacians, or the Illyrians, the Achaemenids, the Scythians, uh, Armenia, uh, the Nabataeans, um, in the Indians, and the Daha, right? And additionally, this mod also adds a lot of interesting mechanics. So actually, let's say you start to really conquer the Achaemenid Empire, there are emergent factions, right? So you can have Pontus emerge. You can have uh, Phrygia emerge, right? So you can have different factions emerge from the ashes of the Achaemenid Empire, as, which is what happened, of course. And I think that's pretty cool. And uh, you know it utilizes some assets from Vanilla Rome Total War, and I think it makes... Uh, it makes the campaign feel a little more diverse, a little more interesting. Uh, I like it. So, But, of course, the meat of this mod is in the huge map, so I will uh, show you that in just a moment. All right, so here we are on the big map, and let me uh, quickly toggle the fog of war here. And yeah, so you can see this automatically makes the campaign feel a lot more uh, epic indeed. And, you know, there are some who are, um, you know, they are not big fans of big maps. And for me, actually, I totally get it, you know, especially if there's too much settlement density, it can feel like a real slog. Um, and, you know, there are definitely mods and maps that overdo it, but I think this one uh, can appeal to those people who like smaller maps and those people who like big, big maps as well, because the map is really large. Like, take a look at this. This is really big. Now, it's not the most hyper-accurate map there is. Um, but it's pretty good, all things considered. And the textures are really nice. I like the textures here. I think this is one of the newer IWTE texture sets. Of course, I used a very early one uh, for Chivalry's map, and I think it looked pretty good. But uh, as you can see, this looks pretty nice, and you go all the way to India, and India is pretty large in this map as well. It goes all the way to um, Kalinga Nagara. All right, so the region of Kalinga. And of course, in the north, uh, I don't think Kucha is here. I think Kucha would be 
farther to the east. But uh, in any case, uh, you've got uh, Kuchen Nisa in the north, and then uh, you've got oh Erebuni. I think that's the only this is the only map to have Erebuni as a settlement on a Total War campaign map. But um, in any case, that's pretty nice. And uh, the, the one other thing this mo mod does is it adds agents to the campaign. So definitely, this makes uh, the campaign feel more epic because, you know, the Alexander campaign can feel a little cramped. It can feel a little one note. You know, you just um, keep... Uh, you keep campaigning on that same small map over and over again. It, it sort of doesn't have that replay value, even though it is a fun campaign. But on this big map, and with the uh, Empire Collapse mechanics, I think this could be really um, a more replayable campaign, especially because you can play as uh, other factions now. But the other thing is that, um, you know, I think even though... I like the fact that the settlement density is not too high on this map. I think for the uh, for some regions, the settlement density is a little too low. Like this North Mesopotamia region, I think could definitely use some settlement. It's a little too far from Hatra to Damascus and Isis. It's a little bare there. Um, what else here? Uh, the Farther east you go, it gets a little bit better. I think this middle region is a little... Uh, lacks a little... maybe a settlement. Uh, I understand what the mod author is going for, but maybe another settlement down here in North Mesopotamia would have been a good call. Maybe one more in Asia Minor, uh, but I totally get it. Maybe one in Cappadocia. Um, but I totally get it. It works, it works great. And, uh, you know, I might do a playthrough on this map because it's pretty cool. And especially, you know, with the uh, emergent factions and the Empire Collapse scripts, I think this could be a super fun and replayable campaign for sure. All right, so as you can see, this is the other campaign included. This is the 356 campaign, 356 BC, the Third Sacred War. Near 356 BC, Hellas once again finds itself at war with itself. After Philomelos, a Phokian general allied with Sparta, captured and sacked the sacred city of Delphi, a diplomatic crisis emerged. So essentially, uh, this is kind of during the this is during the reign of Artaxerxes the uh, Third, Longimanus, and uh, Philip the Second of Macedon. So that's uh, of course Alexander's father. And uh, it sort of follows his campaigns here. And this map is another new map. It's, a, it's another large map. I think it looks pretty cool. This could totally work for a, um, a Diadochi scenario. It could work for um, Roman Macedonian Wars scenario. Uh, it could work for a lot of different scenarios. A Trojan War scenario, definitely. Uh, it's... Uh, it's not a perfect map, but it's pretty good. I think the coastlines could use a tiny bit of work, but it's a pretty nice map indeed. Uh, and it goes all the way to um, Syria here again, the Levant. And uh, as you can see, let me toggle the fog of war here. There are new factions just for this campaign, of course. So you've got uh, the Peloponnesian League that you are at war with. You've got the Delian League. You've got the Boeotian League, who are your allies. Uh, and you've got, uh, you know, Macedon, of course. And, uh, you know, the starting positions are very... Um, so you, you see the Greek colonial empires here. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the Thracians and uh, the Achaemenid Empire. And the wow, the Boeotian League is really scattered across there. And then, of course, in the in the east, you've just got the Achaemenid Empire all over the place. And then in the west, you have uh, again Delian League territories, Boeotian League territories. You've also got the Samnites up here. You've got the Italian League, and then you've got the Roman Republic in a pretty early state right here. So actually. This is a pretty interesting start position indeed. 
And I think this campaign could be pretty fun to play as well. So who knows, I might do a playthrough of the the big map Alexander campaign and maybe one of uh, the Philip campaign too, because it's uh, pretty nice. And again, I think the settlement density, not overdone. And uh, I actually don't think there's anything underdone here. Maybe, maybe I might have put another settlement in like this Phrygia here, maybe. But uh, other than that, uh, the density extremely well done. So props to the mod author for not going overboard with settlements. I know personally how easy it is to do that. So uh, I think the mod author has done a great job. I think there's a lot of cool mechanics in here that really add replayability to the whole Alexander scenario. I think adding the Philip II historical scenario is um, quite nice indeed. I, oh, Delphi's missing a garrison. But... Um, Actually, it was just sacked, so maybe that's why. But um, yeah, all in all, a pretty nice mod. I recommend checking it out. Uh, I will. I, I want to check this mod out in more detail because it's pretty well done, and it's sort of flying under the radar here. So I will um, cover this mod further. I might live stream it or do it just a playthrough on the channel. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. If you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider subscribing to the channel, consider liking this video, uh, consider subscribing to my other channel, Gudea the Historian, which is a channel I've made that's completely devoted to history. I'll have another video out uh, soon. Uh, I'm going to be working on some biographies of uh, ancient Near Eastern monarchs, so, you know, Sumerian monarchs, uh, other Mesopotamian monarchs, uh, Sargon, Naramsin, Manish Tushu, Rimush, uh, Armenian monarchs, classical era monarchs. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that and subscribe to that channel, Gudea the Historian, if uh, you uh, want to see content like that. Um, if you want to help out the channel, you can become a channel member or you can now uh, give super thanks, which is sort of like a super chat, but on regular videos. Um, yeah, and other than that, Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. I have a lot of content, especially for Rome Remastered, uh, coming up. So again, if you like stuff about the historical Total Wars and their mods, stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one later.